Hello, in this video series we show you how to turn these 22 tons of oak trees into this here, firewood. When I work with my chainsaw, one of the most important tool is this here. Just a little uh, piece of wood, it's a measuring stick. And this uh, particular one is 35 centimeters long because that's the size of my smallest uh, wood burner. So I know for sure that whenever I uh, use my chainsaw to cut rounds, this is the appropriate size to cut them. And I use them for something else. Here, uh, if I look at my chainsaw, it's a uh, steel. Uh, MS260 model, I bought it used, it's, uh, I used it a lot already, you can see that. Um, I think it's roughly 5 horsepower strong. And here, the effective uh, cutting size here from these teeth up to the front is just slightly longer than my measuring stick. So I use that to my benefit when I do the measuring. I also use the knowledge that the actual body of my chainsaw is also just a little bit longer than my measuring stick. So that's the space I need to uh, work, to move the chainsaw around. So knowing that, knowing that the blade is just slightly longer than the measuring stick and that the body of the chainsaw is slightly longer than my measuring stick, I can take that into an account and before I make any cuts I visualize the cut with this little measuring stick in my head. Last week here I cut a tree trunk. The tree trunk was some um, 2 meters 6 uh, feet high and I cut it. And as you can see around there's very little space uh, to work. Uh, lots of other trees around here and bushes. And uh, the tree trunk was quite big. Uh, if we look here, pretty much exi exactly 1 meter. So that's more than three foot wide. Uh, so it's quite, quite a big uh, tree trunk. So what I do now is, when, before I start working, I use my favorite tool, my measuring stick, and I visualize how I'm going to cut the tree. Uh, first I check the distances here on the outside of the tree. As you can see here, for example, these branches are quite firm. They're not just, they don't bend. And that's, uh, the space I have available. So I know here we'll have some problems actually moving the chainsaw because I won't have any space to actually move it. The same on the other side here. Before I even start cutting I already know, oh, I gotta watch out here. Some other tree trunks, in this case uh, from these bushes here, and I won't have enough space to move the body of the chainsaw b around. So I have to take that into consideration. So what I decided here, because it was so big, and remember the blade of my chainsaw is just slightly less than an inch longer than this measuring stick here. So I figure out now how I'm going to make my cut. So I can I look at it and say, okay, I can see here, I can work my way in here and then do a cut like this. And I can pretty much plan the complete uh, process of cutting before I even start my chainsaw. So before I do anything, I make sure with this measuring stick I can work out how I'm going to make my cuts and uh, literally work out the full circle of all the, the, the complete cut. This way it's going to be a lot safer for me and uh, there won't be any surprises. I won't get stuck anywhere in the middle of the process of cutting it and uh, it works really well for me. So before I start up my uh, chainsaw I always use my measuring stick and in my head make the exact plan how I'm going to cut it. And because it was so big here, I decided to make uh, two um, vertical cuts. One down here, and in this specific case, I even made on the lower part of the, another one here. And then here, once I removed the first part, I figured out that here, just, I can make a cut just like this, I should be able to cut it off easily. So this helps me a lot. A second tool that I use uh, when I cut uh, tree trunks is my crowbar. 
got it right here, nice little uh, crowbar. What happens once in a while, you know, there's like the, the tree trunk is a little bit taller than the blade of my chainsaw. There might be a little piece in the middle, just an inch maybe where I can't reach with the chainsaw. So once I've made the cut, I wedge in my crowbar somewhere in the cut and I break off the big pieces. So as a matter of fact here, making these uh, vertical cuts was very helpful because I turned out that uh, this is an oak tree and it was so heavy uh, I couldn't even move it. It was just uh, on the limit so if I, I had to actually make instead of cutting off one one gigantic round which I was not capable because my change was not big enough uh, I had to cut in three pieces. Either way it was a good choice because the pieces themselves were quite heavy and had it been one single round I would not be able to carry it. Here I have another tree trunk also from an oak tree and the very same thing here. Um, because it's on an inclination on the hill there was no access from this side because there's all filled with dirt and I wanted to cut it quite on the bottom. So the same thing, I used my measuring stick, I visualized the complete cut in my head first using my measuring stick. I knew I could be able to set it up here, do one cut like this on the inside, come in here, make a cut like this to the inside up to here, and move the chainsaw like this so I knew with this visualization technique, with my little measuring stick, I would be able to cut it uh, quite nicely. And the same thing here. On this little corner here, I wasn't able quite to reach it with my chainsaw. So in order not to risk damaging the chainsaw, because right behind it is uh, the dirt, uh, I left a little inch there, didn't bother me. I used my crowbar, wedged in here, and then broke the whole round off. Uh, that always works for me. So again, this is about uh, two feet wide, big old oak tree trunk that I was two, about six foot tall and I cut off round by round in the appropriate size and I always use my measuring stick as a visualization technique uh, so that before I make any cut I already know how I'm going to do it. This way it's a lot safer and uh, I think it's also even faster for me. And once I get to this point here, we'll do the same. Uh, this specific uh, tree here, old oak tree, and it's nearly four feet uh, long from top to bottom. I just measured it. That's very close to four feet from here to here. So the same thing, once I get to this tree, I use my little stick and I work out how I'm going to cut it. So I always think it's uh, helpful and certainly a lot safer. For the small ones nearly there's nothing to be visualized here, the small ones are going to be a lot easier to cut. And here I have some leftover pieces from the uh, tree trunks that I was cutting last week. So there's uh, some still here, the others are already uh, split up and they're already in the wood pile. But there are a few ones left here. <laughs> 